So the next talk is uh, Fifty Shades of MIA by Carlo Munez. Thanks. Hi, uh, uh, we're going to present something about uh, MIM, which is uh, something we do at Debian to make Debian better. So we want to tr transmit to you. What MIA is, MIA means mission in action. And you know, when going, when we come to Debian, people usually come and makes a lot of noise and want to do a lot of things and that's good. But sometimes life gets in the middle and people go and don't know any anything about them. They live and they don't say a word. So we have to find them and try to ask them what to do <laughs> with your life, uh, what are you want to do with your Debian packages and, and so on. So is the the mission of the MIA team. Why do we care about that stuff? But because mainly all of this ends in, in packages being rotten and being maintained. Uh, people have to miss after some releases, uh, bugs get announced, even RC bugs. Uh, especially on release time, on testing freeze. Uh, people even send fixes to the to the bugs, but they don't get up yet, no, no new uploads are done. And of course, this means that the quality of the archive drops. I also think that, I personally think, it's also a kind of breaking the social contact because uh, it looks like we are not caring about the users of our packages. So it's kind of. Also, because there are people behind that packages and we care about what happens to the people. We don't like people to disappear with a reason and, and to miss that people we already know. Why do you care? Well, this is again, <laughs> why do we care too? But I have to change the title. A maintained package is uh, not a good idea. It's no good to have uh, packages uh, rotten on the archive. And it's much better, or so we think, there are opinions, to have the orphanage and the QA team to take care of them. This is no problem. In if you don't <laughs> cannot maintain a package, just let it go. If you love it, let it go. Interesting packages will be adopted, and and the, and the ones nobody wants will be missed, or we don't be missed, in, in fact. And this is the work for the rest of us. Of course, we don't... Having a maintenance you don't like, it doesn't mean this, the package is maintained. We are not in that business, okay? Well, this is a brief presentation of the team. Who are the, they, who are the MAI team? Well, everybody is MAI team. Every, we were at reports with everybody from the missing people, and Q, QA is everybody on Debian, so everybody is MIA. Currently, only Rene is practically doing work here on the first row. And myself, but myself, I'm in, in back in vacation mode this year, so I'm not really doing much thing. So we need you. <laughs> we usually join. Well, we're thinking about improving the process. So if you want to uh, avoid something, you can join. If you want the quality, you can also join. If you like today, well, people, the, the, those people you might know or don't know, you, you can too, the other one. Current tools are somewhat aged. It's a common line tool set. You can see some, well, there is more commands than that and you can see some, the typical workflow is using Mia query. Um, MI to do, 
to see what needs to be done and so on. It's just list what it's spending on the database. And the other tools also help to to send the mails and and to keep things more or less sane. It's somewhat tied to math, but you can use other mailers. More on current process. It uses a system of tags. There are three levels. There's a little mix of uh, what are stat and they are implemented as uh, all of attacks and there's some what difference between a status uh, level of approach it's, it's doing nice is he has his she or he has been worn once two is the last one we are one sending and also directional which is helps to keep more or less the flow it's not very nice but somewhat worse. You have to prepare manually the mails and remember to BCC the address, prepare the address, and, and so on. It's very prone to error, and I think everybody in the team has forgot on, on some details sometimes, and you have to redo the things. So we want to change that a bit. We want to make it simpler, and we want to make it better. Make a process more direct, because uh, right now there is a little confusion on what to do when someone answers, depends on the answer, and it makes, makes it very complicated. <laughs> and we think it should, should be simpler. We have thought about uh, two reminders, just, which is really more or less what you don't know, but more explicit. Uh, having time on each reminder. And if possible, create a web app with implement a lot of features which are missing in the command line uh, option in the command line command web reporting so we see people easily can tell somebody i think that's me and that package or whatever and automatic report the feedback which is another feature you have to do by hand now support for teams of people working on a package which is totally missing now there, there is no you have to being individually everybody and, and so on. And in fact, when you do so, the system gets a little confused because uh, things there is kind of duplicates and it's a bit internal comments, which is something uh, desirable uh, sometimes to notify the next member of the team you know, when these people has that problem, or which doesn't necessarily need to be public or sent in the mail. And of course, uh, we're trying to, to keep backwards compatibility. This is not a strong feature because uh, we understand to make it better, it's probably we need to break something. But at, le at least it would be this decided to the new system to keep updating the mail database and and make it readable for the command line tools at least. This is kind of the future flow, because it's very, it's even if it looks complicated, it's not, it's more simple. You get to receive, this is the first part, it's okay, you receive somebody, somebody tells you somebody's near, you send the first reminder, second reminder, third reminder. And then finally is the, the what, which is, uh, kind of part of the MIA process, but uh, it's not done by the MIA team or not directly by us. There's somebody else because you have to remove the account from the from the lab and so. And checking is is all the same as ever. You have to check time. You have time for them, and you have to match workload. 
you have interest, have you motivated to work in your packages, and you have problems with people, because sometimes there's internal affairs and things we make people go away and tell anything. <laughs> Uh, hmm, I just say to remember what I wanted to mean by LOD. Ah, life out outside Debian. Problems in your real life can be affecting your Debian experience. And uh, of course, our final is or from the packages. If you have fun or want to uh, have less workload. Um, Oh, retire. If retiring is good, you can retire and come back later when you have more time. So to summarize, the process helps Debian, even if you don't think so. Less people is better. <laughs> less people working less. And we need help because <laughs> we are we're getting started and need better tools. So. Thanks for listening and join me, I think. <laughs>
when to yeah. mail what is in the wiki. Th that's the kind of confusion I was talking about. There is uh, something said, but not all, and it's like an arcane process. You have to master somehow by so learning by example. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm glad to see a, a kind of workflow here. And well, I hope that there will be better documentation in the future. So maybe more people uh, um, can help without um, needing to learn too much things from asking on IRC or so. Yeah, I think having a better tool is 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 the way to go, and and because you can build something, you can build in a right way, having it documented with help and whatever. Hello, my Hi. question is uh, rather asking a feedback from the audience, not just a question to the uh, Missing in Action team. Uh, the process starts with sending an email to the Missing in Action team uh, saying that this developer uh, went away a long time ago and we don't know anything about it or her. Um, so my proposal to the MIA team a, f a year back uh, was sending a reminder automatically uh, to every developer who hasn't been seen uh, for a half year, for example, uh, a kind reminder that, hey, uh, we remember you were there, you did some work, and thank you, and you want to come back or not. Uh, and uh, it could trigger the MIA process faster, and he or she may not be as MIA as uh, he or she would be after a year or so. Uh, want to answer? <laughs> because that has been already discussed. Hi, the the process doesn't start with uh, the Mia team mailing the maintainer. The process starts with somebody mailing the maintainer directly, and if this person doesn't get uh, communication with the maintainer, then mailing the Mia team, the, the Mia the Mia team. And the second thing is an automatic thing is never going to work because uh, we have plenty of people in Debian who are active in something as a maintaining packages. Plenty of them people are maybe maintaining two, three packages that don't change. So they have no reason for updating their packages. Do you understand it or not? Uh, we ca you can have somebody who is a FTP master in Debian. This person, she is maintaining three packages. Those packages don't change, don't need any update. So what's the point of sending an automatic email? Usually when you send this kind of automatic emails, uh, you need to handle the replies, and you get plenty of angry replies. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a problem itself. In the, mi um, in the missing in action team's infrastructure, there is a uh, tool for querying uh, the activity of people, yeah. and it shows uh, mailing list as activity as well. So if someone is active as an FTP master, he would send out a lot of emails. So he wouldn't be seen uh, as inactive. Yeah, okay. but there is other activities which doesn't leave trace on the, on the current world. So you can be making teams or whatever without mailing lists or mailing uh, other lists which are not uh, uh, surveyed by the, by the script. So you can be doing things without leaving all kind of traces. So okay, that would uh, mean... Maybe, maybe the FTP master was <laughs> not the, <laughs> the better example, but it's an example of people which can do things without uh, necessarily making packages. There's a lot of things more on Debian than packages. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be uh, two emails per year. Uh, That's a lot for some people. people. <laughs> who are not visible, <laughs> but it would mean uh, months two? or years. You mean years. two emails per package? No, 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 <laughs> by uh, per people. Uh, handling the replies? Uh, Please use the micro. Right. So um, just a question for me, uh, uh, um, commit strict, like if somebody commits something to Git or subversion on subversion.org, that's tracked for MIA or not? Uh, well, if you... <laughs> yeah.
I think there is, um, when you become maintainer, you have to send a ping to a package. Uh, sure, you can. And people should be doing that, I think, if they have no other activity. Am I wrong? Or, and that might have uh, When we introduce a Debian maintainer status, somebody put something, I don't know if it's in the official documentation or not, about uh, Debian maintainer having to do an annual ping, opening a bug report. Um, I have seen some people doing that, but is actually somebody looking at that? Um, I have never, ever, ever seen a request for a key removal based on someone not sending an annual ping to the Debian maintainers. Um, and as someone who gets those emails by being on the bug alias, I do absolutely nothing with them and I don't think they serve any useful purpose. I, I think there's a, a potential for tying a bunch of information into nm.debian.org that ties with the Debian contributors, which will tell you how recently someone's been active and potentially moving the maintainers thing as a button in there but I don't think anyone's doing cleanup based on that ping or not, and I don't think it serves any useful purpose at present. Uh, just uh, going back to his comment, I understand that um, no one is doing it, but I also agree that if, if, the, if someone is not visible, it's also a problem, like there are, we, even there are contributors that are not packages, but we somehow can trace them, like wiki editors already show on contributors.debian.org, or we, if someone receives this kind of message and it, he or she is active somehow and we don't know, we just apologize and maybe we should be tracking this activity somehow. So we're mostly running out of time. Is there any urgent further comments or questions? Uh, I guess with regards to the M, um, the, the, the only thing that uh, taken over the M um, can do is upload new packages. So there's not much point. I mean, they're not uh, having an, an inactive DM. Um, um, so there could be a, the only difference between an active and an, inac an inactive DM is that new versions don't get packaged. Uh, but there could be an active DM that has an upstream that is not making any new releases, and that wouldn't be a problem. That, uh, it's not a, really a problem. And, it, and it's not contributing to compute the quorum for elections, for example, where the, the count of developers is relevant. So I think that could just work by salvaging packages. Okay, so if there's one for okay, then maybe it's best to continue the con the conversation afterwards outside. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, because we can, we're running we out of time. In Thanks, everybody. Another place. Thank you. The next talk.